That is how long you have. For what? I hear you cry through your screen. Let me tell you about a bit of research that was done. So this was carried out by two researchers, Hello. Nalini Ambadi. I think that's how you pronounce her surname. It's A-M-B-A-D-Y. Ambadi. 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 Um, what, however it's pronounced. And Hello. Robert Rosenthal. And they were interested by the book that Malcolm Gladwell Blink, The Power of Thinking Without Thinking, which is all based around the, around the idea of that we we throw out all the relevant data and just focus on what matters in that moment. How we make those really fast split decisions. Like when you're driving a car, you think, can I fit through that gap? If you are running down the runway in a Tom Cruise style, can you make it onto the aeroplane? Anyway, it was all about, I, a little bit extreme there, I, I feel, but it was all about those making snap decisions. So what they did, I'm getting excited and carried away, but what they did, was they took a whole bunch of uh, different students and they showed them three 30 second clips of lecturers giving a lecture. And they asked them to rate, and they asked them to rate these lecturers on 15 different qualities based upon these 30 second non-verbal video clips of the lecturers delivering a lecture. The results were then correlated with students that spent an entire semester with this lecturer. And what they found, this is what they found, this was the amazing bit, what they found was that six of those qualities were, were they were able to commonly predict them to, to the, the results that they got from the people that have been in the semester for the entire year. So six things, six things, based on the 30 second video clip were exactly the same as all those people that spent the semester with the lecturer. And they were, active, confident they were, how dominant they were, how enthusiastic they were, how likable they were, and also how optimistic they were. So there were six qualities that could be predicted in 30 seconds. And they became really interested by this. So they thought, well, let's carry out the study again. So they did it again. They got exactly the same results. So six qualities would always come up. Then they thought, well, what happens if we shorten the video? So they short, did you hear that? That means I've got to do some work in a minute. So they shortened the video down to, I think it was 15 seconds and they went down to 10. What they found in the end was that in two seconds of just observing this non-verbal video, they were able to predict these six qualities in these lecturers. So what does this mean for you as an entrepreneur, as a professional? You see, they didn't just carry the study out on lecturers there, they also did it with high school teachers and it's been carried out in another, a number of different places. These six things we're able to predict really quickly in two seconds of looking at somebody. Don't know why it is, maybe we're hardwired to be able to predict these things from a survival point of view, maybe it's come through in our DNA from thousands of years of evolution, who knows? But as an entrepreneur, as a professional, it's really important to know this because in those first two seconds, people are going to make that snap decision, that snap judgment about you, especially on those six characteristics. So those six again, they were the, how active you look, how confident you look, how dominant you look, um, that's three, and how enthusiastic you look, how likable you, you look, and also how optimistic you look. You're being judged on those six things within two seconds. Now, the good news is that they also did a little bit of a study of what can make the difference. A few things that they found is that if you enter an interaction or if you walk into a room and you are and you're smiling, you are nodding, you're nice and upright, this has a positive effect on those ratings. If you walk in with your head down, you, you look low energy, this has a negative effect on, on how you are perceived. So by simply by being really aware of how you're turning up and making sure that you enter a conversation with a smile, with a good posture, maybe even nodding your head ever so slightly as you're talking to people, you're going to create a much better first impression. Anyway, I hope that made some sort of sense. I thought that that bit of research was absolutely fascinating, even if I can't pronounce the researchers' names right. Anyway, that's it from me. See you in the next video.